in this video i'm going to talk about the time complexity of merge sort algorithm so we know that the time complexity of merge sort algorithm is n log n so i'm not going to go in the details of recurrence relation here but what i'm going to talk about is a high level or general idea behind why the time complexity is n log n so let's say we have a input array uh, of length 8 uh, and on that we'll apply merge sort so basically in merge sort what we do is we keep on dividing the given input array into two sub arrays of equal size and we keep doing that until we reach uh, sub arrays of length 1 and uh, then we start the merge process the merge algorithm takes uh the the number of operations merge algorithm takes is equal to the sum of the lengths of two sub arrays that it's merging so let's see so we divide the sub array uh into two sub uh, sorry we divide the main input into two sub arrays now in this case as the input size is 8 uh, we will have two sub arrays of length 4 each okay And then these two sub arrays of length 4 each will be further divided into sub arrays of length 2 right length 2 and then they will be divided to sub arrays of length 1 so length 1 okay length 1 length 1 right and now we cannot divide the you know divide the arrays of length 1 any further so now what happens is the merge operation begins so as i said earlier merge the number of operations taken <coughs> that merge operation takes is equal to uh length of sub array 1 plus length of sub array 2 okay so in this case the merge operation will take two operations you know in worst case here also it will take two operations uh, here also two operations and here also two operations so if you sum them up it will be eight operations at this level okay then once the merge happens then this array right here this sub array is now sorted same similarly this sub array gets sorted right and same with this sub array and this sub array as uh, you know as we perform merge on all all of these sub arrays now the next step is to merge these sub arrays at this level okay now what will be the number of operations so look at this the length of this sub array is 2 and length of sub array is 2 so in worst case the merge operation will take 2 plus 2 four operations and same here 2 plus 2 four so it will be four operations here plus four operations here equals to eight operations and then this sub array is sorted now now this is sorted this is also sorted and we perform a merge of these two arrays number of operations will be 4 plus 4 8 so what we see here is that at every level the number of operations are 8 number of operations are 8 now if we generalize this you know if you assume the length of the given input is n okay the length of the input of the given array is n the number of operations performed per level per each of such you know level will be n n operations per level okay so and what we are doing in merge sort is we are dividing the given input array equally into two of two halves at every iteration uh recursively so what that tells us is that the recursive tree that is generated is a balanced binary tree 
and in case of balanced binary tree the height of that tree or you know the levels in that tree are always log n so that tells us that uh, this height of uh, <coughs> this recursive tree is log of n right and or in other words the number of levels is log of n and how many operations we are performing on every level n right so the time complexity of merge sort will be number of levels number of levels multiplied by the number of operations per level right operations per level so in this case the number of levels or the height of the recursive tree is log n multiplied by number of operations on every level which will be n and hence the time complexity is n log n order of n log n so this is the basic idea behind you know uh, the time complexity of merge